This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A Hamilton chiropractor has pleaded guilty to 11 sex crimes against former patients and former employees. Stephen Boyd was scheduled to stay in trial later this month on 28 charges in Butler County, but with the plea deal that will not happen. Boyd faces a maximum of 21 and a half years in prison. Sentencing is set for April 8th. Cincinnati police will have extra police officers working security this weekend. Bars and restaurants expect thousands of Bengals fans at the banks for the Super Bowl. There are similar strategies in place for public parties planned in Mount Lookout, Clifton, over the Rhine and other parts of the city. While the Super Bowl parties continue at Fountain Square tonight, they're holding their Welcome to the Jungle party. That'll be from 4 to 9 tonight if you're looking at video. From last night's party, like its 1989 event, they celebrated with 80s and 90s hits to celebrate the Bengals' last Super Bowl appearance. Joe Burrow wins the NFL Comeback Player of the Year award at the NFL Honors. You'll remember he had that horrific leg injury in November of 2020. He was in rehab but started this season when accepting the award. He thanked the team and organization for their support. Jamar Chase took home Offensive Rookie of the Year at last night's ceremony. Raven. All right, so we are watching some rain moving in for the evening and to the overnight hours, but most of this will start to break up. Now cold air comes in right behind this. With this, we could see a few flurries here and there as we are heading into the overnight hours. Lows for us will drop into the 20s, so we'll all be below that freezing mark. And then as you're looking at the rest of your forecast, got some 30s for your weekend and even colder though for Sunday and then warming up again next week. So a roller coaster of a forecast is in store.